Good morning, W. Ross. Today is December 5th, 2016. And first up, we have an improv announcement. Uh, the improv team is meeting at 7 in front of the auditorium. So please be there or be square. Um, next up, we have Aria with an announcement. Be grateful for what you have. Work hard for what you don't. Stop complaining. Stop wishing. Start working. Hi, this is Aria, and welcome to day one of the WRMS Gratitude Advent Calendar. For the next three weeks, we are going to share ideas for showing how grateful we are for the school we go to, the friends we have, and the people who help make us better students and better people. Day one, smile and say hello to everyone you pass in the hallway today. Something as small as a smile can make a big difference in someone's day. Stay tuned as we reveal tips for being grateful over the next three weeks. Next up, we have a student council announcement. We need your help in collecting donations for less fortunate families in Brantford, Brant County, and in Six Nations. Our goal this Christmas is to ensure that no child goes without a toy and no family goes without a Christmas dinner. The following are items we are in need of. Canned vegetables. Canned fruit. Canned juice. Or bottled juice. Cranberry sauce. Stuffing mix. Dry pasta and sauce. Canned soups, stew, or beans. Oatmeal and or cereal. To feed families. We are also in need of new unwrapped gifts for children ages 13 to 16. Thank you for helping. Hey, did you hear that they are selling raffle tickets again for two Christmas baskets? One men's and one woman's survival Christmas kit. Yeah, I remember that from last year. It had all that cool stuff in it. Right, it had a very nice robe in it, so you can sloth around during the holidays. It also had Ricky and Glacius Cologne. Who wouldn't want to smell like him? <sighs> it's for a good cause. All the proceeds go sponsoring a local family in need during the holidays. Don't miss out. Come and get them from behind a front administration during lunch hour on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. Draw to be held on Friday, December the 2nd, only for staff and students over 18 years old. Um, this is just a correction that the Chris that the um, the Christmas the raffle the raffles are actually taking place on Friday, so there's still a time to get in your tickets. <laughs> Next up, we have an announcement from the communications class. Hey, W. Ross, it's that time of year again. The Christmas assembly is a few weeks away, and so is the Christmas cart parade. So if you or your homeroom class has an idea for a Christmas cart, then email wrmsmornings at gmail.com in the next few days, or all those carts will be going, going, gone. Merry Christmas, everyone. WRMS is hosting a writing competition for the month of December. The writing contest will start on Monday, December 5th, and go until December 19. The writing prompt for grades K to 6 is write about your favorite holiday or winter tradition. And if you are in grades 7 to 12, your writing prompt is about gratitude. Write about what you are truly thankful for. You may write in any format you choose, letter, a poem, or a story. The possibilities are endless, so don't forget to be creative. And you could submit your work in any medium, braille, print, or electronically, to Miss Husjo, Miss Plant, or Miss Day. Submissions must be made before December 19th, and make sure to include your first and last name. The panel of judges will choose a winner from grades K to 6, and a winner from grades 7 to 12. The winner will earn a prize and the chance to have their work displayed in the library if they choose. If you've got any questions, please contact Miss Plant, Miss Hustro, or Miss Day. Happy writing. Next up, we have the moment you've all been waiting for, everybody. The weather. Good morning.
morning, W. Ross. This is Lily with your Environment Canada weather forecast. Today, it's going to be um, rain or snow ending early this morning, then cloudy with a 30% chance of rain showers, wind west 20 kilometers an hour gusting to 40, and we're going to be sitting around 4 degrees. Tonight, minus 2, mainly cloudy, um, and t Tuesday, it's going to be cloudy with periods of rain ending early in the afternoon, and it's going to be a high of 5, low minus 2. And currently it is one degree and it feels like minus four. And that's all for your weather today. And next up we have Miss Hackborn with an announcement. Good morning, everyone. We will be starting a book club in the library on Wednesdays at lunch. If you would like to bring your own device, we will hook you up with a book in whichever format you need. See you there. Okay, looking forward to that book club, Miss Hackborn. <laughs> um, that is all for your announcements, W. Ross. Everyone have a fantastic, amazing, fabulous 